Well, let me ask another question because it's like what 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 goes up must come down. So yeah, being at the stock market is at an all time high. Are we setting up for a major pullback or correction either in the summertime or fall? Yeah, I think in the summertime we'll have a pullback. Um, even though things are at, at a record high right now, um, August, June, and August are usually rough months, and I don't know how much longer we can just have Nvidia pull the entire market up or the the promise of AI. Like we pretty much have a cartel between Meta, Nvidia, AMD, Microsoft, Google, and Apple. I don't know how much longer they can drag the entire market up. And if it wasn't for NVIDIA and AMD pulling the market and SMCI, it probably would be flat. You, you left so, Amazon out of there. Oh, Amazon. True. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah 2.5 investing in Anthropic. Job well done. Job well done. Need it. Um, but I do think we will see a pullback. Lily would be great, of course. I think most of the healthcare companies would be great. But um, the numbers aren't as strong as they should be. We've talked about the geopolitical risk and concerns before, but the numbers just aren't as strong and CEOs are getting quieter. The only ones that are like out publicly facing are the ones that are just dominating the market. Like Jensen. Jensen looks like a rock star when he had his conference. Mm -hmm. Most CEOs have been a lot more quieter, I think, and then revamping their business models to prepare for what's to come. Um, so I think we'll have a pullback July and August, and then we'll be back to the races towards the end of the year. But that that's not atypical, right? Like we we've seen that over, especially. I mean, I like to use these past four years of of Market Mondays as a microcosm of of how the market works. Like we've seen this. We talked about the summer summer slowdown, and yeah, yeah. there was an outlier in twenty twenty. Obviously, there's the pandemic, but we've seen that historically. If you look at the summer months, the volume is down. There's going to be a pullback. We've seen it in the beginning of September. Like we've seen these things, and so they shouldn't be unfamiliar, right? Prepare for it, right? Like. If you were on a sideline, if you weren't participating, well, why weren't you? Was it because you were waiting for this pullback? And now it's all right. I know September is coming. Historically, we've seen that as a month that uh, the S and P has pulled back, Nasdaq has pulled back, mm -hmm. that all the major industries that have had a slight pullback over the past four years. This would be the time to enter. So, yeah, I mean, a pullback will come. Um, just how long, the, how much of a percentage that that'll be the key indicator. But yeah, the, the, this AI train is. I think we're, we're still in the beginning of it. I think we're still in the beginning of it. I agree. The only thing that I'm, I won't say worried about, but I think one variable that's different is the lack of quantitative easing. So even with Bank of, like Bank of Japan or Japan finally coming off of break even interest and they spiked it just a tad bit, um, I wonder how that's going to affect their market and the Nikkei. And if we don't have easing anytime soon, um, I wonder will the pullback be a little bit sharper and will the companies that are just like floundering around not do as well. So um, we'll talk about Tesla soon, but even like companies like Zillow that had a bunch of promise, they really haven't moved. Spotify hasn't moved that much either. Mm -hmm. um, Disney. I mean, hey, I'm, hoping, hey, I'm, hey. I'm hoping it can break above hey. 127 for you. I really I'm do. Just saying, I'm just I'm, I, Every week we're starting to see this this number move up and yeah. Yeah. So but but be on the lookout if the market pulls back ten to fifteen percent. Of course, every week we'll be here. If I see some numbers I like, I'll be sure to call them out. But um the companies that benefited greatly from a lower interest rate environment or more money being available to consumers, it's a tighter squeeze. Uh I mean, credit card debt is still at a record high. Mm -hmm. And people are not paying off those balances as quickly as they used to either. So we, we definitely have to factor that in. It's true. So, okay. Let's talk about this then. Uh, what are some common mistakes that traders make in these type of markets? Um, so in a market when we're, when we're in like now, when the market has just been going up and on fire, I think not preparing for when you need to start to short. Because a lot of times traders will say, well, I'm a bull investor or bull trader or i'm a bear and it's like well you have to go whatever whatever the conditions of the markets are so don't get caught if the market has a downturn in june or july and think that your strategy for going along when you're trading doesn't work so number one you have to be able to flow with the market number two if the volume drops in the summer you're going to have to adjust your targets so if you've been killing on options and getting 100%, you may have to cut that down to 50. If you've been going for like, let's say 40 ticks on ES, 
you may have to adjust and go to 20 in the summertime and then in the fall adjust back to a longer target and then third understand when the volume is lighter there's different players in the market so like at the open and close there are different players that are trading but in the um first quarter and fourth quarter sometimes the mix of traders are not there in the second and third and uh, lastly i would say if you are not doing that well at the open to trade the close that way you can see what happened the first five or six hours of the day you have a clear direction for where the asset is going and then at the close you're going to see the most volume in the last 10 minutes look to take your trade in those last 10 and you'll be okay but if you're not doing well at the open getting three extra turn profit factor of three or above i would trade the close um from now until probably september to get an edge in the market so trading trading the close is a is an interesting strategy so a lot of people and they get confused they'll say well obviously the market closes at four at what point do i wait to it's 3 30 and it's like there's a half hour left or is it three four so you're saying the, i'll start looking at three you, you start that, so you start looking at three but do you make the move until that last 10 minutes because especially if you're if you're trading options and you have to wait for that to even be filled sometimes yeah. if you try to put that in at 345 pause if you try to have an option filled at 357 it might not get filled and then you miss out you got to wait till 9 30 the next day so yeah. at, what what's that time frame that you like in futures and, and i guess we i mean it could be transferable for options as well yeah the last 15 minutes um as well if it doesn't get filled it doesn't get filled if the move isn't there you can't force it but if because in futures like you can get whipped out so fast or go negative um you have to wait for the right move but normally the volume kicks in the last 10 minutes now if you get the trade right you'll hit your target really fast if you get in at a bad price that could be disastrous so you need to practice but um those last 15 minutes is when i'll be looking to fire for sure yeah, and I, I, i'm glad you said that and i want everybody i'm gonna look into the camera right it's okay if it doesn't get filled like if that Facts. it's okay it happens get really frustrated and they're like all right well i know i put my limit at this number but it, whether it's nine dollars right and the limit now that the ask is 905 or it's 950. you don't have to go up to that number no nope. okay <laughs> don't do it it's okay be disciplined in, in what your plan was right so if it doesn't get filled that's fine you come back tomorrow rather than taking a losing trade you buy it and, and obviously it depreciates once you get it so it's yeah. okay if it the option contract does not get filled come back yeah. another day